Hey, what up everyone? So this is a special video because this kind of thing always interests me to see, you know, API performance among different frameworks, RESTful frameworks. And this is not like, you know, uh, uh, framework performance testing because this is just to see how many concurrent requests an API can handle, okay? It doesn't have to do with any kind of internal processing. So let's say if I show you the express server I have written, it just returns the response. And let's say if I had something like, you know, for loop, which would iterate thousand times before sending the request, then it would have been a different case altogether, okay? So we are not doing any such thing. We are just testing how many concurrent requests a particular endpoint would handle, that's it, okay? So we will start. We have considered express. We are going with fast API. We are also checking for play framework Scala. Then we are going for Gojin and finally express next endpoint. Okay, so there's no, not, I, I don't see any much difference in these two, but just for the sake of, you know, building it into the production uh, next export, uh, next build, which will give me the production build. And then I would be using that. Okay. And so you have your time. You can pause the video and make a guess for which will be the better performing one. Uh, in my opinion, uh, I'm just, you know, writing it out here go should be the number one because it has a lot of concurrency model handling already inbuilt and it does it pretty it does a pretty great job there so the number two would be either express uh, or the express next reason being we all know how javascript handles asynchronous programming in case if you're not aware i would highly recommend you you know watching one of my videos i will put the link in the description and in the i button as well uh, so it, if i give you a very small spoiler it is basically uh, javascript just outsources all this work to the operating system and because it's a single thread still it is able to do all this asynchronous programming which is you know awesome so that is one of the very interesting concepts of javascript and you might be asked about that in a lot of interview questions as well so i would highly recommend checking that video out anyways moving ahead and then in between Scala and Python, I would definitely say it would be Scala because Play Framework is quite optimized microservice and I've been using it and I feel that, you know, it is definitely going to be much better in case of performance. Of course, it requires more boilerplate and a lot of Java errors that uh, is very difficult to figure out. But, uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. All right. And then Fast API, of course, it is it is said as fast but these uh, these frameworks are way too faster i would say and let's say if we had more about performance computation then maybe fast api would have been better than express or you know uh, might be even better than scala i have used fast api for a lot of use cases and i found that when you have a lot of let's say pandas data frame processing and all kind of data manipulation looping and all then it does a good job but when it comes to handling concurrent requests it, I, I would say that it is definitely going to be the last candidate okay so this is my prediction let's get started and see how it is going okay and first things first we will start with Scala. So I was testing Scala and this is what is happening. So get data for specific microservice where we pass the microservice URL and the file name, which will be stored as a JSON. So let's start with thousand requests. So the way it will go is for the first iteration, it will make 10 parallel requests. It will record its time and everything and it will add it into the JSON. Then it will go hundred and thousand. And since we are going until thousand only, so it will be like this. So yeah, so that is how it is going to happen. And we will start with Scala. Uh, so of course we could have followed the same order, but I was just configuring the Scala and, and it is running fine and it would be better because if we restart the server, then I have to kill the port and all because it is currently running on prod and not the dev server because we want these apps to be, you know, performing their best. So you can see that it is running in prod and yeah, I mean, we have that command Scala and prod in case if you're confused what SBT run prod, sorry. So that's what's happening. Now, if I show you the code, it is simply index. It returns the JSON response and we have only one route. So I've kept it as simple as possible. And if I show you one demo, so let me refresh this. This is the response that we get. Okay. So let's start with thousand requests. Let's see how Scala performs. Uh, sorry, wrong command. So I will use node testing.mjs. And you can see I've used MJS module JS because you know when this will be treated as one module and I can only run index.js. So if I want to run any other program, I have to specify it as MJS. Anyways. So for thousand requests, we have got our res results. Let's see. Let's do a very vivid comparison. So for 10 requests, the response was in 28 milliseconds, which is super impressive. For 100 requests, the average time went approximately to 100 milliseconds. And for 1000, it went to 660, which is, I would say it is a lot good. So what this means is when you're sending 1000 concurrent requests, number of successful requests were 486. Okay, it has actually failed requests, which is bad. So we have 486 successful requests, 514 failed requests, and average response time was 660 and average maximum response time was 692 and minimum response time was 409 and this is all computed in this 460, 486 successful request okay and nothing else so i would say it is pretty impressive but when it comes to thousand requests it does fail a lot of requests which is a little bit concerning and let's quickly run it once again just to be super sure and we again have a lot of failed requests which is bad actually but anyways so let me create a folder thousand requests and add this here okay so we have scala done now we should move up or down Let's move up. So we will have Python. And if I open a new terminal, so virtual in, uh, environment is activated, that is great. Then we need to navigate into fast API. And based on the code, as you know, it is Python, so it will be the least code. We have only one route again, 
get and the same message and i'll be using uvcon for deployment i've been using nginx and apache but you know uvcon or gunicon it is almost going to give me same performance that is what my experience is like i have uh, four cores so instead of using four workers i will use two into four plus one which is recommended which is nine nine workers and i think that would give us the best performance and in case if you guys uh, disagree with that feel free to drop in comments what is the best way to uh, you know use optimized fast api server but i think this uh, in my opinion this would be the best one because again uh, uh, even when you are doing deployment in nginx or um, apache you first need to run gunicon and from there you do port proxy and everything right so that is what my opinion is but please feel free to correct me if i'm wrong and let's run it so we are running it with nine workers so it is up and running so and of course i need to kill this just to be super sure that that there is no other interruption and i also need to kill the pid so i'll go to scala play api lua running pid and let me open powershell and kill npx kill port 9000 okay so we are good here so let's clear it out let's just run it for two times just to be super sure so first time was damn it was very very fast now let's run it once again and it seems like we have some performance issues i'm not sure what has happened but let's see the first results oh we see some big numbers out here 19 milliseconds which is very very faster if i move into here and if we compare, it is a lot faster than Scala, which was out of my expectation, 101, 139, 59. Get this one also. And here you see that they have 487 failed requests, but here we have zero failed requests and 923, 1150 and 660. So it seems like Python fast API is faster than Scala, which is hard to believe, but it is what it is. And second time, I think it got stuck, not sure why. So let's try it one more time. Okay, this this is super blazingly fast. I had to say, if you remember, it, it definitely is faster than um, Scala for sure. So you can see these numbers, 113, 155, 75. You know, uh, almost near to Scala, I would say. But if you see all the numbers, like 30, 41, this one also, and here you see zero failed request, which is the big deal. So that is the biggest thing. And this, these ones, response times are faster, but again, it is on these successful requests. So I think fast API is definitely the winner in this round. So let's close it out. And we can maybe replace this. So we are definitely impressed with fast API. I didn't expect it to be as fast, uh, fast, as fast or at least faster than Scala. So let's kill this one and let's be super sure that we have killed it. So again, PowerShell, mm, PID, no, NPX, kill dash port, 8080, I believe. Yep, that's killed. Now let's move on to the next one, which is Express. So let's see how Express, Express, how fast Express is. Mm, and we need to run this one. Okay, so here, uh, so, uh, yeah, so 4000 port number 4000 and then so we have this set up. So now it's running in port 4000 and if I go here and uh, go to a new shell and test it out, just a second. Yeah, so if we do it like this, so yeah, that was even faster. Express endpoint, let's see the results. So that seems like a decent number here also. And this seems to be a little faster than even fast API. Here we have 936, 1349, which is maximum. 936 is the average, which is way more than 548. And so I think this was even faster. So Express, we have better results. Now let's quickly try it running once again. And we have it here again. And I think definitely Express is a bit faster than fast API. And so that is fast api express and go now let's go with go before that we need to kill the port 4000 so how much excited you are about go because yeah go is magical in concurrent programming world so let's go so here we have you can see that this also is very less of a boilerplate i'm said i've said for mode to production release mode so that you know we get the best out of it and here we are getting message we are just doing some indentation and then status okay and message which is message hello world okay so first i need to navigate to go server and then go run dot and we got the message that the server has started running so let's do testing.mjs and we have our results that was also quite fast and 22 35 19 60 84 so we can see that go is even a little faster than express so we have 584 here and here we have average response time as 530 millis which is very very impressive for thousand requests bombarded a second and if we do it one more time 
and let's see what do we get it is getting even better now this time it is 521 9 milliseconds of difference which is not much but still so yeah uh, that was expected go is the champ and we have one more th uh, player left so it would be too early to make a judgment so let's go with express next okay so before that we need to kill the port of go also although these ports are automatically killed you know but just for the sake of being very super sure okay it is 8080 not 8000 so we need to stop the server kill the port yeah and now so here you will see again we have just single handler and I would use yarn start because I already have this build folder and this has started so let's go back and this time we are uh, express and next endpoint and we need to delete this terminal so you can see that the this was pretty quick as well let's see how does this perform so this is a little slower than express and go but of course we see that all of this you know overall it is fine uh, average response and everything looks good to me so this is when we make thousand requests per second uh, we can clearly see that Scala is failing badly we are getting 487 failed requests which is a big number and you know uh, fast API uh, which was expected to be even a uh, little behind has performed better with zero failed requests and if we go to go go is clearly the champion for with every average response time of 521 even for thousand requests which is much higher not much higher but a significant difference uh, in terms of milliseconds of course in terms of uh, wait time it is very few milliseconds which doesn't matter at all and maximum time if we compare uh, it, that is also low and minimum time it is way low about 200 milliseconds of difference so i hope this video was informative for you and you enjoyed this performance comparison uh, i've tried to you know keep uh, these things as less biased as possible and so the order that I was expected, expecting uh, go was number one, which is true. This is also two, true. Uh, this one, uh, Express, I think, is, would be third. Uh, how is Express compared to Python? Uh, I mean, Fast API. So Fast API, we have around 936, which is 719. So of course, if Express is a little better than Fast API, and then uh, these two got swapped. So we have Fast API on the third, uh, fourth position, and Scala at the five, fifth position. So I think that is what we can conclude from this. And of course, this is totally based on concurrent. Uh, concurrent model handling uh, concurrent request handling nothing else if we do other performance testing like uh, for loops or any kind of data processing parsing json etc etc then we may see a different picture but this was solely based on you know uh, concurrent request handling no json parsing nothing so i hope uh, this was informative for you in case if you want to see a performance testing for the other other things as i told like uh, data processing or request parsing and all that uh, feel free to put them down in the comments and subscribe to the channel so that you keep updated and then we will you know i'll create one more benchmark marking for those as well and in case if i missed out something or you think there was some bias involved feel free to put those in comment as well and you know i will improvise on that and from next time we will have better matrices so yeah that's all thank you very much and have a great day